In this exercise, I'm going to show how to track a channel and its associated margins using the Talvec Tracker. The Talvec Tracker is not a conventional tracker. It's using a weighted voxel approach to track seismic fascias. Hence, it's not limited to only mapping channels. Please note that the Talvec Tracker is a part of our commercial software OpenDetect Pro, but it can always be evaluated for free with the F3 dataset or Penobscot dataset. Let's begin and add an inline with the default data to the scene. I'm going to switch its location to 365. That's where we start tracking the channel. And I will launch the Talvec Tracker window. This can be done either from menu analysis, Talvec Tracker, or by right-clicking on 3D Horizon, New Talvec Tracker. The default data volume for this survey will automatically appear in the input cube field. Now let's zoom in on our inline and click on the peak seats icon in the Talvec Tracker window. On the inline, find the location uh, at the cross line 647 and at 1024 milliseconds and pick a sheet. The software will snap to the nearest event, minima or maxima. In our case, it's minima. I'm going to keep the default values for Amplitude Scalar, Amplitude Sum Scalar, and Amplitude Sum Step. You can read more about these parameters in our online documentation. Now let's have a look at the schedule. The first row of the schedule table represents the Talvec Tracker settings. By default, the maximum number of cells is set to 1000 and cells per iteration to 1. I'm going to begin with these parameters and click track to begin tracking our channel. Let's rotate the inline a bit and see how this looks. The result is displayed at color-coded points and you can click on display settings button to change the color table. If you are satisfied with the results, you can specify the output horizon name. I will gonna call it channel 1. Optionally, you can also specify an output cube name, but I'm going to stick to the horizon for this example. And you can also toggle off snap to event checkbox, but I'm not going to do this. And click create horizon. The horizon automatically appears in the tree. Let's switch off the show points checkbox to see how the horizon looks like. I'm going to switch it back again and add a second schedule so that we can track the, uh, the channel's margins. I'm going to hit the add another row icon and for this row, I'm going to use 2,000 cells as a maximum number of cells and 2,000 cells per iteration. And click track to track the channel's margin. You can output the new result to a new horizon or keep the same name and override the existing horizon. Same for the output cube. Also, you can create several horizons and then merge them together into a single horizon using the Merge Horizons icon on the top of the Talvec Tracker window. Also, there is a cross-plot utility where you can perform analysis on the extracted dataset. For instance, if you used an acoustic impedance volume, you could analyze iterations with the acoustic impedance data. 
This concludes the workflow showing how to track a channel using the Talrec tracker.